Hello, today I want to tell you how to install your first air mesh hub, which we call the Gateway Hub. This is the one that connects directly to your router. Now, first, you have to have the air mesh hub, and you also need a long Ethernet cable that'll reach all the way from your router to wherever you're going to install the hub. Now the first step is to get an account on airmesh.com. So to do that, start a browser on your computer and up where you type the address, put airmesh.com, A-Y-R-M-E-S-H dot com. That'll take you to the Airmesh website. Once you're there, click on the link that says no username, sign up here, it's free. Once you're there, select a username and select a password. You have to type the password twice so that we know we've got it right and then go ahead and fill in the rest of the form. Make sure we have a good email address because that's how we'll probably try to reach you if we need to. Now down at the bottom here you'll see there's a thing called a CAPTCHA. That helps us keep unauthorized people and particularly robots off the site. So fill in the letters there and then scroll on down, agree to the terms and conditions and hit submit. And that's it. You have an AirMesh account. So the next step is we're actually going to assemble the air mesh hub. So start by putting it on a good firm surface and opening up the box. So go ahead and remove the papers and the ethernet cables. These are the short ethernet cables and by the way they come in a variety of colors. In fact, I'm going to be using a yellow one later on. So first take out the air mesh hub and take that little plastic cap right off the end there and set that down. And then set down the radio and get out the antenna. Take it out of the little plastic bag. You'll see it's pretty easy to do. And set the plastic bag down. And then pick up the air mesh hub again and just very carefully screw the antenna onto the end of it. Nice and slow. And that's it. That's about the most technical part of this whole procedure. So now you can set that down and we'll assemble the power supply. So go ahead and pull out the cord, take off the twist tie, take the protector off the end there and go ahead and loosen that up and then get out the power supply itself it's a little tricky go ahead and plug that in and you're done you'll see there are two ethernet ports on the end and we'll talk about those in a minute before we move on I want to just clean up my workspace here so I'll set everything aside and I want to show you how to take the cover off of the air mesh hub so just put a little thumb pressure on there and slide it down it comes off just like that we'll set it aside and the next step is testing the air mesh hub. Now this is optional, but we strongly recommend you do it. Now to start, get your long ethernet cable. Now I had shown you a blue one before, this one's white. They come in a variety of colors. And get the air mesh hub. And what you'll do is just plug the long ethernet cable into the end of the air mesh hub till it goes click, just like that. Go ahead and set down the hub and take the other net end of the ethernet cable and plug it into the PoE port on the power supply. Once again just push till it goes click and set that down. Next we're going to connect the power supply to the router. We're going to use the shorter ethernet cable which before was blue but now it's yellow. It can be any color, it doesn't matter. We'll put one end into the power supply into the port that's marked LAN and then we'll put the other end into one of the output ports of your router which are typically also marked LAN. Now you can go ahead and plug in the uh, power supply into the wall there. You'll see the light come on on the power supply and then on the hub itself you'll see the bottom light come on. Followed closely by the second light indicating that the hub is communicating with the router via the Ethernet cable. Next, we'll check airmesh.com to make sure the hub is checking in. So we'll log in with the username and password we created earlier. And when the home page comes up, click on Manage Network. And when that comes up, click on Check Air Mesh Hubs, and your hub should be checking in. Note, it can take a while for that to happen. We also want to check and make sure the wireless network is working. So click on the Wi-Fi icon. In Windows, it's usually in the bottom on the right. In On the Mac, it's in the top on the right. As you'll see, a menu will pop up. Select the network that's called Air Mesh and connect to it. What will happen next is you'll get a, 
a pop-up that will ask for a security key. The default security key is AirMesh1, as shown here with a capital A and the number 1 at the end. When you click OK, the computer should connect to the wireless network. With all that testing out of the way, now you can go ahead and disconnect the power and the Ethernet cord, because we're going to start into mounting the hub. In this case, I'm going to mount it up here on a pole I've put on the roof. And all I have to do is take the zip tie as shown. Uh, I've taken the clip off of the air mesh hub, I should point out. And just go ahead and tie that thing to a pole, to the pole nice and tight. We'll then come with the uh, long Ethernet cable and plug it right into the end there. It'll go click, and you can put the door right back on there. Now it's a good idea to just kind of dress up that cable a little bit using zip ties or tape. I'm going to use a zip tie here and just go ahead and put that on there. Uh, tighten it up nice and tight so it'll uh, take up the strain. I'll put another one on. And then I'm going to just clean them up by cutting the ends off the zip ties. That was a tough one. This is what it looks like. This is a pole I bought at Menards for about $8 and you can see the cable down there at the bottom. So the next step is we're going to run the cable. First I'm going to feed the cable through a hole I already drilled here and I'm going to pick it up on the inside here and pull that cable through. It's useful to have someone on the outside feeding the cable so it doesn't kink. You don't want to pull very hard on this cable. Now I'm just feeding it down a hole I've already got for some other cable and a, uh, some duct work and that'll come out into the living room and I'm going to just dress that cable up with some coax staples that I bought at the hardware store so that it'll be up and out of the way. Finally, we're just going to finish up this installation by putting the wires all together. So here I have my power supply. I'm, I've brought the uh, long cable down. I'm going to go ahead and plug it into the power supply and plug the power supply into the wall. Go back to airmesh.com take a look and you can see that that hub is in fact checking in. That's it! You're ready to go! Thanks again from your friends at Airstone Productivity.